We've seen how steroid hormones and other signal molecules that can diffuse across membranes can deliver information directly into a cell. In this module, we look at the mechanisms that large and or polar signal molecules, like hormones, growth factors, or cytokines, that can't cross the plasma membrane, use to deliver their chemical message to control a target cell's activities. Signal transduction produces many different effects in cells, from regulating enzyme activity to controlling gene expression. A large or polar signal molecule binds to the cell surface receptor, shown here. The cellular response includes the phosphorylation of proteins, and when activated by phosphorylation, these proteins are responsible for a variety of different effects, ranging from, again, changing the activities of still other enzymes, to rearranging cell shape by manipulating the cytoskeleton, to increasing or decreasing ion permeability of cellular membranes, to turning genes on and off, to promoting replication and cell division. This slide summarizes the themes of signal transduction. The signal molecule binds to a specific receptor on the outside surface of target cells, resulting in the activation of intracellular protein kinases. These are enzymes that catalyze the phosphorylation of other cellular proteins. To control how intensely and how long the cell responds to the signal, there are specific phosphatase enzymes that catalyze the hydrolysis of the phosphates off of the activated proteins when the response is no longer needed. Here are three main pathways for signal transduction, officially defined as the process of getting an extracellular signal inside the cell when the signal molecule itself cannot cross the membrane. The first one is ion channel linked receptors, which are characteristic of neurotransmission, as we've already seen. We're going to focus on signal transduction by G protein and enzyme linked receptors. Let's compare the G-protein and enzyme-linked signal transduction pathways in an overview. G-protein signal transduction involves the intracellular generation of second messenger molecules, for example, cyclic AMP, while enzyme-linked signal transduction does not involve second messengers. Both usually involve a series of protein phosphorylations, commonly referred to as a phosphorylation cascade, that eventually leads to the appropriate cellular response, as illustrated in this figure. 